Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about a subject of is poverty inevitable in a consumer-based society? Well, the thing is, you gotta think about it this way. The way that cities are made, the way that businesses are made, the way that we actually see most things and think about most things in life are catered towards uh, buying, selling, even from the way that we uh, use money. It's basically bartering. In the old times it was we barter something for another thing and it's an exchange. So the moment that money was created, well, in some way consumerism was created and taxes were created and many of the staples that make a big society work. So the problem with that or should I say the solution to that is very difficult because we do live in this consumer-based society and the fact that we have so many things in our everyday life really we really have so many things everywhere around us and at the same time we have so many things that uh, we don't need um, that we live in a world of excess but at the same time, our society cannot survive if, if people are not <laughs> buying stuff. And this is why you're seeing now, especially with pandemics and all these things, uh, companies, the world is struggling because people are not consuming in the way that they need to consume. But if we are in this kind of a society that needs, to, needs that sustainability in order to survive that consumerism, and nobody's consuming, well, the society we live in basically dies. And that's a big problem. And I think the consumerism really became big after the First World War and especially the Second World War and all that stuff because at that time, they needed people to consume stuff. But what happened was that a lot of companies wanted to make more profit. So they started... Um, putting the factories in other countries and then the manufacturing power of uh, big countries, powerful countries such as America, uh, became less because what happened was that uh, they wanted to offer cheaper prices so people cons could consume even more and would want to consume even more because they could get more and then the companies would make more profit. But because of that, they gave so much power in some way to the people who are in these other countries and because they gave them all this power now we see that the mega mega powerful countries of yesterday are not so the powerful countries of nowadays anymore and we see the countries countries that were poorer uh, back in those days that actually offered to open these factories and stuff at a cheaper price give cheaper wages now we see all these new millionaires we see all these new people developing stuff and again it also creates consumerism in those countries too but in order to sustain the way that we live in order to have our life in order to live the way that we do without being um, consumers is very hard we'd have to give up a lot of stuff we'd have to give up uh, having cars we'd have to give up even the fact of having food that's not processed we'd have to have stuff that we hunt for that we gather we'd have to give up having so many clothes and all these things and that would take a lot of work i think that would take a lot of work from the people that would take a lot of work in the mindset and it's a double-edged sword you'd have more time more free time and one way but at the same time less free time because you'd have to work more for things so it's either you to decide if you prefer to live in um, a consumer world or if you prefer to live in a non-consumer world where everything is minimalist but at the same time you have to gather hunt uh, and work for the clothes and the things that you want to have so there isn't a full comfort but in some way, I think that it goes back to everything in life. You have to find the middle ground between consumerism and non-consumerism and figure out the things that you really need, the things that make you happy, 
don't go extravagant just because commercials will tell you X, Y, and Z is better than that. And um, you'll probably find more happiness in all these things. So it's all about balance, right? So that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.